making a pattern or a nameplate for your desk. So as we've seen in other tutorials, this is how I like to set up my toolbars for Corel Draw. Yours may be the same or different, it doesn't matter. Just so you know where your toolbars are located and easily accessible. This is the drawing page. And it is set up at letter size, 8.5 by 11. Most home printers will take this size paper. So let's get started. First, I'm going to come up here to the layout. Click on the layout and switch page orientation, which turns it into a landscape mode instead of photograph mode. Okay, right now, we'll come over to the the alphabet tool, the text tool, has the A right here. Click on this. Come up here to the top. And I'm going to pick Bazooka. And this box may come up. If it does, just push OK. The Bazooka is a good font to use for this. But Arial Black is good. Boulder would be good. Just whatever font that you like scrolling through here. So I'm going to change and go to Boulder instead. Hit the OK button. I'm going to type my name K A R L in capital letters. Okay, come back up to the pick tool. Select your pick tool. Grab the, one of these corner nodes and enlarge your name. Okay, after you've done this, you'll see these little nodes down here on the bottom, clear boxes. Click on the inside one of these in. Excuse me. Click on the inside of one of these boxes. Oh, I'm sorry. Come over to Shape Tool. Come back over to these nodes. And click and drag one letter at a time, either left or right. Okay. You'll see how all my letters are touching. Drag the A a little bit further. Oops. A little bit further again. I need to pull the L over a little bit further. Okay, that looks good. Now that is one method of pulling all your letters close together. I'll come up here to the Edit tool. Let me can either go here to the Edit and continue hitting that, or come over here to the undo tool. Don't click on this quite a few times. Put all these letters back in the original location. Now another way of getting all these letters close together, if you come up here to the text, go to character formatting, you'll see this box pop up over here on the left. Boom. Click on the character shift. Okay. With this A selected, your text tool, we can click and drag and highlight three letters at a time. I'm going to do the horizontal shift button to the left, and all the letters are moved. Okay, highlight these two again. Horizontal shift. We can move up these two. And the same with the L. Highlight it. Move it over. There's an, a third way to, which works very well. I'm going to show you that also. So I'm going to undo all these.
Okay. Have these highlighted and come over to the kerning, which is just above the character effects. And click on the bottom arrow and it moves all of them at one time. So that's three different methods of moving your letters closer together. Since this was the last one that I used, I'm just going to leave it up just for instructional purposes. Okay, I'm going to X out of this box. We won't need this anymore. Come over here to your rectangle toolbox. Making sure your rect rectangle tool is selected. Okay, with your rectangle box selected, I'm going to left click and drag and put a square box here. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer purposely to show you a different kind of effect in a few minutes. So I have my box here. I'm going to click my pick tool. So everything's deselected. I'm going to highlight my name. Down here in the bottom of your color palette, there's a arrow that points to the left. Click on that. Okay, I have the black selected. Hit OK. Name is selected. My name is selected. So I'm going to left click on the black, right click on the black. Now what, what that does is make sure that the inside of the letter are filled with black and there's an outline in black. To check this, if you come up to the X on the color palette and just left click, and you'll see that it has a, just the outline of my letters of my name. So that's the, the look that we want right now. So I'm going to scroll out just a little bit. My Pick tool is selected as you can see. I'm going to left click and drag and group all this together. Come back up here to arrange. Go down to shaping and click the weld button. Now you can see how the pattern is almost complete. So with this area right here, I'm going to add a little detail to it. So I'm going to Go over here to the Eclipse tool, and I'm going to drag an oval to right here. Okay, I'm going to left click so it's not filled. And with the Eclipse tool again, this time I'm going to hold down the control button and left click. Release the left button, then release the control button. So I'm going to make this one and three eighths inch diameter. So I will come up to here, 1.375, which is close enough to one and three eighths. 1.375. Okay. Now you'll see this circle is one three eighths inch. Now this is going to be the inner circle for a mini clock. So to make a border on the outside, well first I'm going to infill with nothing with clear. And on the outside, I'm going to put a half inch border on the outside of this. So I'm going to deselect this. Select it again. Go over to the fifth icon from the bottom. And hit the interactive contour tool. 
in that, okay, these icons at the top of this toolbar, you'll notice these three. We're going to hit the outside button, change this number to a 1, and we're going to take it up to 0.5. Let's take it to 0.4. Okay. Go back to your pick tool with the circle highlighted. We're going to go to arrange and break contour apart. Deselect the big circle. S select the smaller circle. Left click and drag it to the right. We're going to highlight this oval. Pull it to the left a little bit. We'll try to center it into the bigger circle. So that looks fine. Okay, we're going to highlight all these, group all these together. Go back to your range, shaping, and weld. Okay. Highlight your smaller circle. Pull it back over to the center. Mine isn't exactly centered, but I'm sure you'll you get the idea of how to do this. Now this part will be wasted area. You can put your mini clock in this area. Cut out the inside of your nameplate, such as your K, parts of your A, your R, and space between the L and the R. You'll have a nice nameplate for your desk. A lot of your friends are like you and want one. These easily sell. Without the clock, these easily sell for $20, $25 a piece if you make it with a nicer wood. With the clock, I would add another $10. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Thanks for watching. Close up video.